Hello everyone, we're back again for interesting news. So on over on Twitter and before Twitter 4chan, there seems to be some leaks in regards to this whole female custody situation with Games Workshop. Now, before we get into anything today, I cannot stress this enough. Like, I cannot. I could spend an hour really stressing this. This is rumor from 4chan. That's shaky ground at the best of times. <laughs> now, that's not to say there haven't been real leaks of stuff on 4chan in the past. There have. But for every instance you can point to me of there being a real leak on 4chan, there's about 500 I can point you to to where they were fucking with people. This is a, there's a reason real leakers feel safe leaking on 4chan. It's because it blends right in like camouflage with all the fake ones. That is what 4chan is. So keep that in mind. This could very well be an elaborate troll. And there's some aspects to it that kind of hint to it. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge being a troll. And my, my instinct with it is telling me troll, but I'll let you guys be the final decider in the comments section below. So let's get into this and go over the leaks, though potential leaks, rumored leaks, from uh, 4chan <laughs> about the female custodian situation. So it was originally posted over on Twitter by Kita at Eldermark, and they say female custodian's 4chan leak. And here we go. So the first, and by the way, there's several posts about this, but the first coverage is here. Uh, female custodians are only going to be mentioned in the codex. No new sculpts or characters after the fact. Social media department jumped the gun and tried to put out fires with the wrong hose. Intent is to push female custodies character in Amazon's show without it quote unquote breaking lore because Amazon execs wanted a woman in power armor and wouldn't settle for Sisters of Battle, which is bullshit. Uh, people involved in the show are pissed because they've been moving ahead on Eisenhorn. Talks of inserting said female custodies into Eisenhorn's story with Cavill threatening to walk away from the project. Good, he should. If they're going to try and make him uh, break the lore and disrespect the hobby he clearly gets passionate about, he should walk away. Small stock drop today, but GW figures it can ride it out if it stays mum on the subject. They really need better social media employees. Yes, they do. Fire the ones you have. Immediately. Cavill will be in an article due to... Quote unquote, heading to GW to work on the new series this week or next. If he leaves, it'll be a noticeable hit to, to the share price, meaning the show is dead. Good ending. Or Amazon is calling the shots. Bad ending. Not Black Chagorians, but still scenario. Uh, you can trust me, my dad works at Nintendo. <clears throat> now that right there is the first wink, wink, nudge, nudge, this is a troll statement. Now, obviously, that could also just be a little joke in there by a real leaker. And it might also be put in by a real leaker to kind of stave off people thinking uh, or, or start tracking them down. If they're like an employee for a GW and GW were to see this, that might be enough to like dissuade that like the inner NSA they might have <laughs> that'll that it see it. And we're trying to hunt down the employee who's doing the leaking. But for me, that 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 helps kind of lean towards troll. But let's keep going. Typing is hard when you're hungover. Can't wait to grab another drink. Uh, another individual says the deal in the first place was super fragile. Nothing was inked when Cavill announced it and sent everyone at GW into a panic. Shareholders put an immediate stop to any work until the contract was hammered out and the negotiations were brutal. If it could impact profits on the minis, GW didn't want to touch it, which is why this Kasui's thing was a dumpster fire. People who should have known about it didn't, and success or not, people are going to be let go. Uh, don't be, don't dick ride him too hard, Cavill. He's always prided himself in the idea of quote unquote nerd who made it. His concern is losing the cloud being known as the super fan celebrity. I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I've never gotten the narcissistic egotism that a lot of celebrities give off from Henry Cavill. Now to be fair, he's an actor. His whole job is pretending to be something he's not. But that being said, I don't know, in every interview and every time he's talked about uh, 40k in the past in scenarios where it didn't benefit him, where it, it was well before these kind of deals were being talked about, he's always come off as genuine. His The thing he points out aren't very generic things. Sometimes they're actually quite specific to lore. I think the, I think he's a real fan. And I, I think uh, I, I think like it's a little over the top to be this ag aggressive about it. I just don't get that vibe from him that he's constantly putting out that nerd who made it shtick. 
Uh, women don't fawn over him because he's the nerd who made it. They fawn over him because of the chiseled jaw and the built body. Okay, so I don't think he needs to like you know wave that as any kind of narcissistic thing. So I, again, I, I just don't you know agree with this dickheads you know thing. But whatever. Correct. Again, as stated earlier, people are going to be fired for this. They weren't supposed to co comment on this debacle until the quote-unquote crisis management meeting was called, but they did anyways. That's why the response were so responses were so lukewarm. Like, how can you tell under the helmet? And they've always ex existed, we just never mentioned one. People are already calling for new sculpts and female heads, which was... Ne no, no, no. Tourists are calling for fake sculpts, uh, or new sculpts and female heads. Everyone else who's a real fan is protesting this. I was still a bit drunk and thought it was funny. I don't believe anything I read on, read on the internet and don't expect anyone else to either. Saying. It's kind of hinting towards it being a troll. Uh, it has nothing to do with the models. Literally nobody was under the impression this would get women to buy custodies. Uh, Scissors of Silence don't speak. The quote-unquote differently abled suggestion was pushed by GW, but they don't speak by choice. Scissors of Battle are too religious, and Amazon thinks it'll be a turnoff. The female Inquisitor in power armor was the last hope, but Amazon wants to be able to take the character out of the armor and still have him be powerful. Because of girl power. It's all been a massive headache. I bet. I'll tell you this. I'd love to be a fly in the wall. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be a part of the negotiations, but a fly in the wall for the negotiation would be great. So, yeah, that's, like, the full leak, and then the uh, poster did a TLDR and all that. But, again, I'm, I'm mainly going over this. No offense to uh, Kita. I, I just want to focus on the actual potential leak itself. But credit to Kita for, for posting it. So, immediately, I have some reservations about running with this. Again, I stress that this is rumor and from 4chan. This could be an elaborate troll. That's kind of where I'm leaning. Now, I want it to be true, because this would help explain a lot of things, but there's some holes with it. First of all, if all of this is just because of the Amazon TV show, and this is not something GW or uh, or Games Workshop are wanting to push onto their own hobby, why put it in a codex? That That's the weird thing. Why put it in a codex? Because codexes are concrete. They are, they are the tablets on which we use to display the the chunk of the lore for a given faction they they are the lore by a lot of stretch like the books obviously are as well but the codexes are are what more people will collect within the hobby and what is going to be most people's more introductory experience for a given faction's lore so putting it in a codex in many ways is more concrete than putting it in a book in regards to 40k lore so, if this is supposed to be this temporary one-off thing just to satisfy Amazon for a show, and then never reference again, no models produced for it, nothing, why put it in a codex? Why not put it in a community post? Why not put it in a tweet? Put it somewhere where you can easily delete it once the contract with Amazon ends and the show's out. You know, once all that's, you know, through and through, just delete post. Or, at that point, it'll be buried by so many others... It's, it's a nothing burger. Putting in a codex is a little stronger of a statement. It's, it's a lot more concrete. And especially when they start publishing them, those people who are going to buy those codexes are going to have them forever. Now keep in mind, they're not going to sell very many after this leak. Uh, after the official leak. This is another one. But after the actual leak of the, the codex, the, there's going to be a lot fewer sales. But that being the case, the people who do pick it up are forever going to have that violation to the lore in their book like the, the other than them ripping out the page themselves and burning it which can't blame anybody if they chose to do that uh but yeah i i'm sorry but like that's one big hole with all this is if this is supposed to be this temporary one-off never mentioned again thing not official supported by gw why put it in a codex the worst place to put it if it is supposed to be just this small temporary thing now granted it might be uh that amazon did their homework and were let and gw were thinking of pulling a fast one in that regard they're like oh okay uh, yeah we'll absolutely accommodate that and then they're like oh whoa, whoa. but it can't be in a community post it can't be in a, a white dwarf it can't be in a, an article it can't be in a tweet it has to be in the official material like those codex thingies you guys produce 
then that might explain it, but that doesn't go into that at all here. So again, it's a huge question mark. That That's strange to do if they were just required to play lip service, but that's all they planned on doing. So very, very strange, very strange that. But a lot of other parts of this rumor do make sense, to be fair. Like the it, it being a huge debacle with the uh, community managers and the their social media department. All of that is clearly a fuck up. Even even if this is a, the rest of this rumor is fake, that part I believe. Um, I think that's just a basic observation anyone can make. Like yeah, they fucked up. Like that's fact. Uh, and no doubt the higher ups, once sales and the stock are getting affected, are going to start firing people. Like, th this was a horrid response to the situation. So that part's just fact. But the best lies and the best stories weave in a little bit of truth. So the, the push from Amazon also makes sense for this to have happened when it did. But again, there's the question mark of like BlackRock and Vanguard owning a huge chunk of the, uh, the company. That's also leaving a giant question mark over my head. Like, if they're being supported by BlackRock and Vanguard, where does that kind of... Now, granted, it might not. Maybe we're overestimating just how much like how much in uh, investment power that BlackRock and Vanguard have. But I think over... Uh, collectively, between the two of them, uh, almost like 12, 13% of a whole company. That's a lot. That's That's a lot, so... I also have a hard time believing that that's not a factor, if not the reason for this, as opposed to the TV show. But again, I'm I'm I could be wrong, but that's where I'm standing right now. Again, there, there's holes with this that I I question, but we'll know if at least part of it's true, because they mention a, an article that's supposed to come up sometime this week or next. Uh, Cavill will be in an article due to quote unquote heading to GW to work on a new series this week or next. Right there, that. Well, I guess we'll have to keep an eye out for that article then. Because if if an article comes out of that nature covering that, then that, that adds a lot of credence to the this potential leak. But until then, none of this is confirmed. The person doesn't identify themselves. It's 4chan. They were never going to. If, if you're going to post a leak on 4chan, you don't intend to reveal yourself. Again, I, I do hope it's true, because then at the very least we know for the future it's safe, but that doesn't entirely heal the situation in in its totality. And let me explain this, because if this does end up being 100% true, I still think we were right to be upset, and we should still be upset. It's arguable to the degree, but we should still be upset with GW, because whether it was for a political ideology group like BlackRock or Vanguard, claiming ownership of the IP effectively by this change, or it was Amazon just pushing a temporary thing that they have no intention of paying lip service to. Either way, it shows that GW was willing to acquiesce and completely alter the lore on a fundamental level. Instead of satiating it for a political ideology, they're satiating it for a deal with Amazon. Not as bad, because again, if they only were intending to do it like in the one, one instance and then never reference it again, that's better than a fundamental change that is concrete that they're going to support and they're actually going to keep pushing. Because that also might give a huge safety net with female space marines. It might, you know, be a nice little cutoff there. Uh, it's a huge question mark. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm I'm not sure to what degree. I still think that, that, that levies uh, uh, a hostile response from us. I do think it does. Because either way... In either case, despite the severity levels, it's still the hobby being fundamentally altered for outside forces. And if GW is willing to do that here, how long till it is for political ideology, if it already isn't? So, I don't know. I'll let you guys discuss that in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts, because I'm debating it still. But I plan on having an open mic talking about this as well as the rest of the debacle since the first open mic uh, sometime today, I hope. But uh, I got to take uh, a lovely lady out for lunch. So priorities. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good day. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.